Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me, SliversFX, and this Gothic 2 New Balance mod. Today we're going to be doing a special quest called Ultra's Revenge, where we're going to have to go to the Shadow Valley and uh, destroy a very difficult enemy called Ascalor. He is a Shadow Dragon, and uh, there you're going to receive a lot of, a lot of nice items. So uh, this is the last major... Uh, quest that is in within the orc city where you can basically move on from there or even kill all the orcs afterwards if you so wish so let's get into it here we are with the chieftain again and we're gonna ask him if there's any more er errands for him and he's gonna give you two magical crystals <clears throat> which you will have to use to gain access to the shadow valley now, as soon as you le leave Urthral's uh, inner chamber, and you're already at the center of the Orc City, which is here, uh, you will then turn to the left, and you're going to go in between these two pillars down below. Once you're in here, and you're in the centerpiece right here. You can then turn to your right and you will see a, a gate and an orc guarding that gate. Now you don't have to talk to them or whatever. There will be two pedestals here. You can put the crystals that you just received from the chieftain on them and you'll have access to the Shadow Valley. It will be a uh, separate location so you will get teleported and there will be a loading screen. There we go. It's a good thing that we, we it's a good thing we got here in the daytime. Make sure you save because there will be enemies everywhere around. Okay. Uh first off, you might as well clear the whole valley if that's to your desire. I do recommend it, mostly because uh everything that you kill has a potential to drop something. Also, in this area, there will be the biggest amounts of black ore. Now, if you can find a merchant that will also sell black ore, which is within this cave, then make sure you buy all of it, because you will need it in the future. I will talk to all of these people later, of course. Um, I am just going to activate this teleporter stone. And we're going to go talk to the druid that's inside. The other guys don't really matter because they can only teach you stuff like hunting, uh, wielding your weapons better, and so on and so forth. But there's no quests other than talking to Elvais over here. He talks about the dragon and the myth that people don't uh, haven't actually seen it. These people that are here haven't seen the dragon so far. <clears throat> but they have seen undead orcs or ghosts in this case. Not undead, just ghosts. Uh, and the reason that uh, the orcs are ghosts is basically the, the dragon that has trapped them here. Now I will be getting rid of all of the undead mostly because of the XP. I should have probably gotten more uh, arrows to come here, but it's okay. We'll we'll do with what we have, as always. There will will be quite a few uh, bosses here that you have to get rid of. Quite a few hard bosses at that gonna get rid of everything that's surrounding this area first I think there's even like some uh, yep reconnaissance here but these guys hit hard as a truck so you might have got rid of them before they reach you unless you are only focused on melee of course of course of course of course I don't know why I keep saying of course but it's part of my vocabulary what can we do gonna be uh oh an undead demonic skeleton knight 
Nice. And a chest. Some magic ore inside as well. Normal magic ore. It's not black ore. But it'll do. Next, we're gonna go over here. Now, if you realize, this is a copy-paste of uh, Corinna's uh, excavation area. <clears throat> it's a copy paste and it's kind of funny seeing all of this and even enemies almost in the same place but i don't mind you know if they have to reuse content then and it makes it look a little different until you figure it out then i'm fine with that okay cool the new bow is doing excellent and now we're gonna go to the area with the uh, with the uh, orcs that are ghosts. But we have to get rid of this um, dock first. It has 10,000 HP. Gives you quite a bit of HP and, uh, sorry, experience as well as a learning point. Down there is gonna be another mini boss, and in the cave is gonna be a mini boss. Quite a, a few things, actually. It's kind of uh, insane. To say the least and there's another dock over here it's also a mini boss not this shadow hound the other one it's he doesn't even attack you but you want to kill him for the xp anyway doesn't give you anything specific other than learning points and experience no special um and no special items or anything so you want to go up here and this is a uh, another shaman that can actually speak to you. His name is Urkan. Make sure you go through all the dialogue. If you want to know what he's talking about, please slow it down. Don't go as fast as I am. And then we're going to go to the other orc that talks as well, which is Urtral's brother. Which Urtral thought he was dead. Make sure you don't attack any orcs, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. Okay, cool. So here we have Urgrom. This is Urtra's brother. And he tells you how the orcs gotten here, why are they here, why are they ghosts in the first place, and you're gonna help them defeat the uh, shadow dragon. I'm gonna clear out the mini bosses later, off screen. There is a fire golem boss and a spider called Tarantula. They're very hard to kill because uh, oh, they have a lot of HP, especially the Tarantula. It spawns like... 30 other spiders around it. Now if you have something that's AoE based to kill them, that's fine. You probably don't have a, much of a problem killing them. But if you're just single targeted with a bow, then that can be an issue. Uh, the Shadow Valley is the same size as uh, the Corinna's excavation part area. It's not the entire Corinna's area because that would be ridiculous. And they would also have to make a city or something. <laughs> but it it is what it is. Uh, we're going to put... Uh, what's his name? Crate on active mode. Because he's been lazy and has been just... Laying around and doing nothing. While I kill everything around him. He does 200 damage to certain enemies anyway. But this Spinner of Death is insane, how much damage it does. I'm gonna have to make more uh, arrows, apparently. I'm doing everything speed mode right now. You might as well clear everything as I said before. I probably should. Except for the mini bosses that I mentioned earlier. Don't wanna bother you with that. Okay, nice.
There's quite a few uh, enemies in here that can give you some problems, but not so much um, if you have your HP high enough and your damage is good. Okay, apparently there's a chest in here. Yeah, and Elixir of Life at that. How about that? It's just weird that the Elixirs of Life that you find give you 15 HP, but the ones you make give you 20 most of the time. Okay, nice. There's gonna be a couple of more uh, ancient drakes in here. Even a troll. Look at that. I think there's even a black troll in uh, in this map. <clears throat> oh yeah, of course. There's a black cave troll. The one that is used for uh, one of the armors for the hunters' guild. If you so wish to have it, of course. Almost, got, almost died over there. But I leveled up at the same time. Okay, nothing else in this area apparently. We can continue and go up towards the bridge. There's gonna be a couple of demons here that you might want to look out for. Okay. A couple of more demons on this area. No. I think they're further ahead. <laughs> Here's the black tra cave troll. We're gonna get rid of the ancient lizards first. And the uh, arch demon over there. And then... We're gonna just... Uh, kill it with the uh, spear instead. Because if you range it, he's gonna start throwing rocks at you. I do have 500 uh, dexterity right now, by the way. Just so you know. I'm probably planning to get it to 1000. If I'll be able to. I think it's possible. And then we'll be basically one-shotting almost everything. Uh, except the boss, of course. Just the main uh, normal enemies. Like these skeletons. Look, there's just 50 HP remaining with one shot. Uh, <clears throat> now that's a little boss over there that can be quite annoying because he throws a lot of uh, spells. Gonna put crate on passive again. But he has also 20,000 HP. Well, I'm at that distance that I can just... Uh, Go. Yeah. Good thing I have a very powerful spear. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, my my voice is crackling sometimes. Did I miss anything? Why is it not picking up the the corpse? Weird. Normally everything. Every time the Wisp picks up stuff, then the corpse is just gone afterwards. Kind of breaks the immersiveness, honestly. But... I don't mind, you know. It's probably because of the... Uh, the amount of enemies that's this in this game. And uh, the engine wouldn't probably be able to remember where every single corpse is. Okay, now these chests, I cannot open them yet until I get rid of the the boss that's down here. We came from this direction. This is like the uh, <clears throat> fire of... Sorry, the cave of faith or cave of fire for the, uh, <clears throat> for the fire mage's test in Karenis. This is a copy paste of it as well, as you can see. But instead of innocent statues here, you have uh, demon statues instead. Okay. Now as soon as you turn on the switch, uh, you're gonna spawn a uh, very powerful uh, Shadow Lord with a lot of... 
with a lot of servants. So you have to do this very strategically. Okay, nice. All of them died. <laughs> That's a good damn spear that I have, honestly. Oh, now we get a very powerful weapon called the Elior in here. As you can see, it requires 800 stamina and 400 strength, but it has 475 damage and it's 50% uh, armor penetration. You also get a piece of stone. That's basically the Eye of Wrath. Which is needed to spawn the <clears throat> legendary dragon. And you also have Urkan's Orcish Talisman. Which we need to return to him. But we're not going to do that just yet. I'm going to sleep until the next day so we don't have to deal with this, uh, the midnight. Or the night. 10 hours should be enough until morning. 5.30 in the morning is fine. Sun normally rises at around 5.00. Unless it's raining. Gonna have to deal with a couple of more... Uh, <clears throat> things up ahead. Did we clear this area already? I think we did, yeah. Okay. Now make sure you activate this teleporter. So you don't have to struggle with coming back and forth all the time. And... Uh, now we're just getting rid of... Archdemons and Undead Servants. And there's gonna be another boss up ahead in the cave to the right. I love how many Archdemons is here. It's kind of insane. And yet the Undead uh, Necromancers are the uh, the ones that are controlling them. But they're also easy to kill. Okay, we got one black ore from this chest. How about that? Uh, okay, this is the mini boss area again. We do have crate on passive, so he doesn't just lose his thing. He does attack you on sight, so don't worry about that. go he's dead make sure you pick up everything and you also read the book that's on the book stand otherwise you won't be able to continue and you'll be missing something like i always do there's a chest here sapphire and demon blood which is very important uh and another chest that gives you what exactly aha uh -huh, amulet of the spiritual strength which is for you and just a fire arrow scroll, which is not that important. Hmm. But this is important. I don't think you can actually read this if you don't know how to read demon language, though. So make sure you do that quest before you do this one. Uh, next up, we're going to go towards the, the ritual area where we're going to spawn the... Dragon were the, the dragon afterwards. We're just gonna clear out the place. Quite a few uh, enemies here, especially ancient lizards. Almost died there as well. We're gonna heal ourselves because we can. You can go up there, by the way. You can go up there. I think there's a few minor things left up there. Let's check real quick. But otherwise, you'll see the world end at a certain point. I see. Apparently, there isn't anything else. Never mind. Let's just go down. 
towards the... Well, this is where the stairs would be in Karenas. Wow. They hit like a truck sometimes. It's a good thing I have enough mana to just keep healing. And here we also have another mini boss that we're gonna have to get rid of. <laughs> and I almost died from it too. We got them anyway. <laughs> Three learning points. Now, every time you kill these undead bosses, you also get a shit ton of uh, Inus Karma. Especially the, uh, the undead knights. This is also a cave that you want to explore. There's no more mini bosses in here, I do not believe. There was just the one in front. Uh... But every time you pick up one of these, uh, for example, Taratars from the Draconics, you can uh, smelt them into Iron Ore, or Iron Billets in this case. Well, ancient uh, zombies are very persistent. As well as giving the uh, undead weapons to, to Xardas or Creole. Creole, I don't know how to pronounce that properly. Creole, the other necromancer that lives in the Valley of Mines. Okay, we cleared out the place. Now it's time to go to the actual cave. This looks like a orc cemetery entrance, which it probably is taken from there. Whew. This place gives me the creeps sometimes, though. Especially with the music. Okay. Uh, summon crate. Put him on active. Hope he helps us out this time a little bit. This place is not so difficult to navigate, but it can be if you don't know how to in the first place. crate almost died just with one spear skeleton or something anyway this is the first switch and it's not gonna open the door on in front of us but both doors on the side so we're gonna have to go to the sides first and here is where we're gonna have to switch our weapons again to Something that kills on that easier. Let's see, do we have anything new? I don't think so. Bloodfest. Upstep. Best swordsman. Okay, so this is one of the swords we got here, but it's not efficient against undead. We're gonna have to use the silver star again. So I'm gonna put it on number six. Uh no, I'm gonna put it on number four instead, because the, the number four I'm I'm not using it anymore. There we go. I think I switched this to number five again. Yeah. Okay, so number four, F4, gives us the Silver Star uh, weapon, which we're going to have to use to kill the undead ghost here again. It's just an Archmage, by the way. There's another Archmage over there. No, it's not. Uh, there's the ghost, by the way. Which is the same kind as it was. Oh, there is a fucking Archmage that I didn't kill. I didn't see it before. So it does reverse damage and you have to wait until uh, it stops doing that. I'm just gonna 
grab a quickness potion because I want to run. And a healing potion. And hopefully the uh, ghost stops dealing reverse damage. It's not reverse damage, it's more like counter damage. Every time you hit it, it's going to hit you back. And I cannot even save here. Let's see what he does. Okay, he stopped doing reverse damage. Come on, just die already. Don't worry about this. When he does that, he just takes a little bit of your life force. But as long as you have your um, potion still up, it's gonna keep healing you. And again, he does that. I don't know why. It's just a waste of time, if you ask me. <laughs> Maybe it does something more on Nightmare. I haven't even tried yet. <laughs> That's the third time. Oh, now he's dealing damage. I can see it now. Okay, time to heal. We even have a healing uh, spell, so we're gonna use it. Oh, we dodged twice, how about that? See, that's the good thing about being a... Uh... The good thing about being a scout. And we killed it, okay, cool. Now I can switch back to my normal spear. Ah, I haven't actually equipped the... All that the demon's claw under number three so we're gonna do that and then we have the demon claw nice okay we continue so those are the two gates that we could have gotten from downstairs and now we're gonna have to open a whole bunch of new gates to get to the very end nothing too difficult at this point everything else besides um, that one boss there is easy okay first we have to go down here let me just uh, get rid of this skeleton spearman if I can cool and we're gonna go downstairs there's gonna be another one here and the first switch is gonna be right against this wall you can see it right here, but it doesn't say anything, so you have to see it. And it's going to open the first door here on the right side. And it's going to have another switch. Make sure you keep your heads up because there's skeleton fighters in there all the time. There we go. That opens another gate. We're going to grab this chest while we're here. That opens the gate to the right side. I'm gonna open my light because I can't see anything. Another spearman. Nice. Okay. Two more chests in here. And another switch, as always. And again, you have to pick up everything so you don't miss anything. Okay. This is the main entrance. This is where we went down. This is the gate that just opened again. Cool. There should be another guy. No, just one. Oh, yeah. We killed the other one. Right. Chests and another chest over here. Make sure you loot them because you will need all the black ore you can find. And a lot of old coins which you can give to Vasily on Honor's Farm. Okay. So what opened this time? Okay, we're back in the main hall and this area opened now. And I think I can already shoot some of these guys from down here. Okay, nice. Two more chests, I believe, here on each side but the switch is actually on the sarcophagus and now I think the main the main gate opened now 
which was the stone one. Indeed. Where's the other guy? He's not dead already, is he? Yeah, he is, apparently. Okay, there's another switch on this sarcophagus. Before you go to the right, you want to do go to the left because there's going to be a book stand you absolutely must read. Otherwise, as I said before, you will miss something. Okay. Chest this open. And... Uh, please move, crate. Thank you. Uh, if it's not the crate, it's the freaking Will of the West. So this is one book. The other book, we already read it in the va uh, Shadow Valley. This is the crypt, by the way. It's called the crypt. A lot of undead here. I just wonder where these... All of these undead keep getting their shields and swords from. <laughs> Nothing in this room, specifically. And this gate is closed until we open it from the other side. Make sure you don't drop on the... What you call those? On the spikes. Until you... Uh, click on this button over here on the sarcophagus. Then the spikes turn off and the gates open at the same time. And those spikes are also deadly, by the way. Okay. A lot of zombies. I'm gonna get rid of all of my... Uh, arrows sooner or later. Here we go. And now we're opening the main gate from way downstairs where we actually started. There you go. We're going to have to kill a boss. So we go all the way back down. Ah, that's the wrong way. Uh, here's the main corridor we take to the right. Here is where we kill the, uh, the ghost. And this is the area we initially came up from. So this is the entrance, and this is the gate that just opened. We're gonna save, just in case. There is a boss there. He's not that powerful, but we do want him to uh, to die as soon as possible. Oh, there's also undead orcs. And as soon as you open this switch, he's gonna start attacking you. This is called Neoret, the Shadow Lord. And we got him. We got a few golden coins. The Arbiter is already sitting on this... Um, <clears throat> sarcophagus which is the weapon that is supposed to be for the shadow dragon it does more damage to it but you can always use your own weapons if you so wish okay that is basically work. it we're gonna go oh yeah it doesn't work here we have to go out doesn't work <laughs> i love it uh we're gonna go directly to the cave of people and we're gonna go towards the uh, the orcs again we're gonna talk to all the orcs there give the uh, amulet back to the shaman as well as talk to the Urtral's brother called Urgrom make sure you don't fall down <laughs> into the fire I found So you get the Ghost Shaman Key. Which is required for you 
to actually open a chest that's behind Urgram. And you'll get Orcish Blood that is meant for restoring the Eye of Wrath, which is meant to uh, summon the, uh, the Undead Dragon, which is this. Orcish Blood and an Orcish Potion. The Orcish Blood is more important. And now that you've talked to Urgram, then uh, you can go back to the Cave of People. So after you get rid of all the undead, clear all the caves, read all the books, make sure you also read the book that you got from the cave near the, the crypt, which is called this old book. It's going to show you how to, uh, to re-embark or reinstate the uh, Eye of Wrath, give it power so you can actually use it to summon the dragon. Then you can go back to the alchemy table here. You can go under special, and there's going to be the Eye of Wrath, which requires a piece of stone, which resembles someone's closed eye. Uh, then the Orcish Blood, Demon Blood, and a piece of Sulfur. And now that everything is in place, you can go to Valley of Shadows here. And go towards, well... This would be the Circle of the Sun in uh, Corinus, but instead this is the uh, the other Circle of the Sun, and up up there is where the Shadow Dragon will uh, appear. We're going to save just before we go there. Uh, the Ritual Artar, you have to interact with it and then perform the Sun Ritual, and then a cutscene will appear, which is one of the coolest ones in the game, even though it's not the best high quality. I wish they could make it better. But it's close enough. Okay, it's cool, quite cool. I am going to uh, now uh, five in the morning. I don't want to uh, do this at at midnight, even though it might look cooler. We're gonna talk to Ur Grom one more time before we get up there. Of course. And I'm gonna use this bow instead of the Arbiter because I do not have any crossbow knowledge. It will take longer for me to kill him with that crossbow instead of just using my normal bow. Okay, save and. Uh, Make sure you kill this uh, undead servant here, and then you can talk to Ascalar. And the easiest way to do that is, of course, with a bow and long range. If you stand right here, he's not even gonna be able to hit you, he's gonna hit the floor every damn time but you can hit him every single time or if you can save some of your arrows make sure you uh aim for longer and it'll do more damage and that way you can save some arrows i'm gonna heal myself up here because he took half of my health with just one spell and he healed himself up with that spell And again, he does the same thing. That's why this is one of the harder bosses here. Even though when you're doing this hacks like this, it's super easy, right? But you do get 100 in karma. You get a very special armor. And you get a lot of other things that are necessary for your progress, uh, for your story to progress. And also unlock this chest. Bada beam, bada boom. We're gonna go talk to Urgrom now. The demon is dead. Ur Urgrom. Now, Urgrom. It's all right. And there's one more thing that you have to do is talk to the cave people and tell him that they can live peacefully with the orcs that are here. 
I could have arranged. You, I think you can kill them without any problem. The uh, the orcs don't kill the humans because humans are good. <laughs> but just this is just for some extra experience. I'm gonna go talk to Urgrom again. He should be in back in his base, but he's not. He's back still here with the Shadow Dragon. Okay, nice. Go back to Elvais again. Tell him that you have an agreement with the orcs so they won't attack the humans. And you get a troll potion. And once that is done, you can go back to the uh, orc city, to the chieftain. And uh, make sure you talk to him. Okay, that is it. So basically you get an elixir of power, a black ore, and uh, you can now actually ask for Urshak's uh, reinstatement another, as a shaman. Do you know an orc named Urshak? I know who he is. You And that is it. You can now go to Urshak and tell him that he is one of them again. Let's go to Valley of Mines. Let's go to the fort. Ah, sorry. Old Tower. I keep mixing up those two. Uh, yeah. Let's go to the Old Tower. <laughs> and tell him the good news. Even though we're going to kill all of them later in Chapter 7. But that doesn't matter. You get one uh, learning point and 3,000 experience points. And that gives us our conclusion to the Orc City plot. Uh, quite a few quests in there and quite a few long ones as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's going to be... Uh, it was shortened down a bit so you guys could enjoy it a little bit more. If you have any questions... Uh, please write them down in the comments section below. And if you want to see more of Gothic 2 New Balance content, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.